नमस्ते वेलकम टू दि लेक्चर सीरी ऑन दि सब्जेक्ट बेसिक थर्मोडनमिक्स दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर फोर ऑफ मॉड्यूल टू वर्क एंड हीट मै सेल्फ डॉक्टर एन सतीश कुमार एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ मेकैनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कैनरा इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज बिंजनपद सो इन दिस लेक्चर वील सॉल्व फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन दि मॉड्यूल वर्क एंड हीट Okay, let us solve this numerical. A spherical balloon has a diameter of 25 cm and contains air at a pressure of 1.5 into 10 to the power 5 pascal. The diameter of the balloon increases to 30 cm in a certain process, and during this process, the pressure is proportional to the diameter. Calculate the work done by the air inside the balloon during this process. Okay, let us analyze this problem first. so it is a spherical balloon sphere shape okay has a diameter of 25 cm and it contains air at a pressure of 1 in 1.5 into 5 pascal so now during a certain process the diameter of the balloon increases to 30 cm and during this process pressure is proportional to the diameter p is proportional to d now you have to calculate the work done by the air inside the balloon during this process okay let us note down the given data first okay this is a diagrammatic representation of this problem so here so this is the initial diameter you can see here d1 okay this is this error mark already it is there okay and this is the outer diameter of the sphere after the uh, expansion process where in the diameter from 25 cm increases to 30 cm okay so d1 is 0.25 meter so everything you have to convert into meters then d2 is 0.3 meters p is proportional to d and initial pressure is given as 1.5 into 5 pascal so we have the expression for displacement work w1 to 2 is equal to integration from 1 to 2 pdv now let us find out dv and expression for p here so you have to substitute for dv as well as expression for p now volume of sphere is v is equal to pi d cube by 16 now find out dv right differentiating with respect to d d that is differential diameter so pi by 6 is constant so d cube becomes 3d square into dt okay so also it is given p is directly proportional to d or p by d is equal to constant k means you can write as p by d is equal to p1 by d1 is equal to p2 by d2 from this you write an expression for p so p is p1 by d1 into d so now substitute this p and dv from the previous uh, slide in the expression for w1 to 2 which is nothing but integration from 1 to 2 p dv so in place of p you have p1 d1 by d and in place of dv you have pi by 6 3d square into dt now simplify this because you know how to simplify using basic mathematics so pi by 2 because we have 3 by 2 here okay here it becomes pi by 2 so pi by 2 is taken outside from the first term p1 d1 is taken outside so d into d square here so it becomes d cube and into or differential d d okay so now the integration of d cube with respect to d 
the differential d is nothing but d to the power 4 by 4 and you apply the upper limit and the lower limit. So once you apply the limits, so you will get it as d to the power 4 minus d1 to the power 4 by 4. So that is this part of this expression and remaining thing constant as it is. Now further you supply or substitute rather the values of P1 which is given initially, D1 is given, D2 is given and you will get the work done as 988.13 joules. Now this is a positive work because it is expansion process. So air is making the system to expand. So volume is increasing. So this is a work done by the system. Hence it is a positive quantity. Okay, I hope it is clear for all of you. Now let us go to the this problem. Okay, a gas system confined by a piston and cylinder undergoes a change of state such that the product of pressure and volume remains constant. If the process begins at a pressure of 3 bar and a volume of 0 0.015 meter cube and proceeds until the pressure falls to half of its initial value, determine the magnitude and direction of the workflow. Okay, let us uh, analyze this problem again. Uh, so a gas system confined by a piston cylinder arrangement. So whenever it is given piston cylinder arrangement, you should be able to imagine that. Okay, no need to draw the diagram and understand. Such that the change of state takes place that the product of pressure and volume remains constant. That means PV is equal to C. This is a very very important information. The product of pressure and volume P into V is equal to constant. So straight away you can say that it is a hyperbolic process. If the process begins at a pressure of 3 bar, so initial pressure is 3 bar and initial volume is 0 0.015 meter cube and proceeds until pressure falls to half of the initial value. So initial value is 3 bar, so half of its value is 1.5 half. Now you have to find out the magnitude and direction of the work flow. Okay, once you analyze or understand the numerical, so then you can go to the solution. So this is the piston cylinder arrangement which I told you to assume. You can, you can draw the diagram and you can analyze the question. Okay. Now given PV is equal to C. So that is what I told you. The product of pressure and volume is equal to constant. So that means you can write P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So P1 is given here, V1 is given, P2 is also given. V2 and the work done during this process you have to find out. So to find out V2 let us use the relationship P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. So V2 is equal to P1 V1 by P2. Make proper substitutions and you get the final volume as 0 0.03 meter cube. Okay. Now, the displacement work. So, you have the expression for displacement work WD from 1 to 2 or the for the process 1 to 2 is given by integration of PdV from 1 to 2. Now, here PV is equal to C. That means it is an isothermal or hyperbolic process. So, you can make use of the direct expression for the isothermal or hyperbolic process that is P1, V1 into ln v2 by v1 substitute and you will get the answer as 3.1192 kilojoules. So you have to take a sheet of paper and you have to make proper substitution and using calculator you can check the answer. Okay. So this is how you have to find out the displacement work for an hyperbolic process directly you can use the formula. Now here positive sign as uh, we dis you know earlier, uh, we know it is nothing but an indication of work done by the system on the surroundings. Now let us move on to the next numerical. 
a certain amount of gas is compressed from 1 bar and 0.1 meter cube to 5 bar and 0.03 meter cube the process is according to the law pv to the power n is equal to k determine the magnitude and direction of work i hope very easily you can uh, analyze this problem so a certain amount of gas is compressed from 1 bar and 0.1 so this is the initial pressure 1 bar and this is the initial volume 0.1 meter cube final pressure is 5 bar and final volume is 0.03 meter cube and you can see from the expression of pv relationship it is a polytropic process so very easily you can find out the work done answer using the expression for the work for polytropic process so let us make a note of the given data first p1 is equal to 1 bar v1 is equal to 0.1 meter cube p2 is equal to 5 bar and v2 is equal to 0.03 meter cube okay so we have a uh, expression for the polytropic work as wd 1 to 2 is equal to p1 v1 minus p2 v2 divided by n minus 1 so here the value of n which is a compression index is not given in the question but as we studied in the theory part if initial pressure and volume and the final pressure and volume of for a polytropic process is given so then using the relationship p1 v1 to the power n is equal to p2 v2 to the power n which is a constant we can find out the value of n for that first write this p1 v1 to the power n is equal to p2 v2 to the power n as p1 by p2 is equal to v2 by v1 to the power n and take logarithm on both sides so it becomes ln p1 by p2 is equal to n into ln v2 by v1 from that you can write the expression for n as ln v2 by v1 by ln p1 by v2 and make proper substitution and you will get the n value as 1.34 okay these are very easy things uh, easy to understand also now let us move on to the next slide so now substitute for the in the expression for the polytropic work that is p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by n minus 1 and after after making proper substitution and calculation you get the work done answer as minus 14.706 kilo joules so here the answer is negative indicating that the work is done on the system okay so here answer you get it as negative so work done on the gas is equal to 14.706 kilo joules because it is a compression process as it is initially told in the statement itself and i want to tell you one thing that if it is already given it's a compression work so automatically you will get the answer as minus now but once you when you write it as work done on the gas then you need not write minus again because already work done on the gas means so you have to write this quantity as positive because this on the gas itself has indication that so it is a negative work so no need to separately mention by using the negative sign okay so with this uh, i conclude this lecture number 4 and we will continue to solve this kind of problems in lecture number 5 and 6 uh, under this module